Hey guys, how's it going? Zach in here. So today I want to shoot a video just giving you 10 cold calling secrets. So I know a lot of investors and other people who run YouTubes do like talks from like the Lamborghini or the Rolls Royce or from their cool whip or their mansion. Uh, and they actually don't do real estate deals. Uh, but you know, I, you know, me, Rick, we do real estate deals everywhere and I want to be a little more realistic and just to give you some more motivation for everything really. So I'm just gonna do a talk after a workout. Um, actually went on a, a nice long run and I'm just sitting down here, um, just thinking about what kind of content I should share with you guys. And I decided the best thing and the most requested topic would be cold calling. So I'm gonna give you 10 secrets about cold calling coming up. Flip it So our first cold calling tip. So cold calling, if you don't know, that's the art of calling somebody that you don't know. Hopefully a motivated seller. Uh, usually you just talk to homeowners and you almost try to get a crapshoot that you find a motivated seller. So if you don't know cold calling, uh, we'll do a very basic intro right now. I mean, you've heard it before. You're just trying to call people that you don't know. That's why it's cold and you're just calling them. So a lot of ways to cold call, you can use like a mojo dialer, like a triple dialer system. You can call just from your phone. Hopefully you're using like a Vumber or like a Google voice thing, just so you're masking your phone number. But you're just trying to call off a specific list uh, that breeds motivated sellers, something like a tax delinquency list, maybe a code violation, something like that. And you're just trying to call them and try to get in touch with the motivated seller that way. Uh, we like them because they're free. Most of the time, uh, you do have to pay for skip tracing, but you could do that in a free way also. I don't wanna to get too much in, into that because that's uh, for more in-depth videos. But today's just quick, 10 quick cold calling tips. Uh, that's the intro to it. Uh, so right now, number one, the top tip I can give you is just to be kind. Be kind. When you're on the phone cold calling, be super nice and be super kind to them. Don't be something like, hey, are you interested in selling your house? like rude. Like, hey, this is Zach. Uh, I saw that you might have been interested in selling your home or is this something you'd be interested in? Uh, so that's tip number one. Now, tip number two when talking to motivated sellers or potentials when you're cold calling is just to have a smile on your face. Even though you're actually calling people over the phone and they can't actually see your smile, you're not Skyping them. If you have a smile, you're instantly just gonna be in a lighter and a better mood. Uh, so that's just another life tip actually. So if you're ever just sad or something, just, just smile and just force that smile in there and uh, you'll be in a better mood. When you're better mood, you're a lot nicer. And when you're nicer, uh, motivated sellers think you're a better and kinder, more trustworthy person. And that's step two. So step three is probably a very important step two is when you're cold calling, please ask yourself why you're cold calling before you get on that phone and before you talk to that hundredth person. Just ask yourself why you're doing it, because if you ask yourself why you're doing it, uh, you'll get the answer, and that answer will help you motivate you through hours of cold calling. Uh, that's a question I've asked myself so many times when I was cold calling. Uh, as a teenager, just in my dorm room, uh, just talking to motivated sellers, getting deals, asking myself, why am I doing this? Uh, what I was asking myself is, hey, I'm, I'm 19 years old, um, I'm in college, I've done deals before, and I, I just wanna get some financial freedom and get a good path in my life. I don't work a nine to five job. Things like that, you just, just you know, if you ever get disgruntled, like hour one, hour one and a half, just say this, hey, why am I doing this? And sometimes you just have to stop calling and just think for, for a second why, why you're actually, why you're cold calling. And it's to live a better life for you, yourself, your future. I mean, if you have kids, I mean, that's, that's motivation enough. I don't have any kids, I have a dog. Um, it motivates me. But uh, so th that's tip number three. So tip number four is something pretty important, I would say, is to see yourself through the deal. Now, that seems like a very vague term, but seeing through the deal while talking to someone. So when you talk to someone, have the confidence in your mind that you can take this from point A to B. You can go from point to talking to them 
building that rapport, getting the appointment, and then from the appointment, getting that property under contract, and then in the future, we're gonna do it. So either you're gonna wholesale the deal or you're just gonna wholesale the deal. And uh, if you don't know what that is, you're really new to everything, um, I encourage you to go back to the Flip with Rick YouTube page and just look through all of everything. What is wholesaling? What is wholesaling? Uh, get those intros in. Uh, I'm saying this, I know a lot of you guys are seasoned with the videos here, but there's actually a lot of people that just come in new and I'm just trying to help everyone become the best real estate investor they possibly can. So see yourself through the deal. When I talk to a person, uh, even if you think it's not a deal, just visualize like this is a deal. I'm, I'm gonna push this all through. And if you do that, you have a way better chance of actually caring more about the motivated seller, their issues, and trying to get that appointment and actually getting a deal. So that's tip number four. You guys, so tip number five. So number five is actually understanding your cold calling stats. Your cold calling stats are so, 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 so important to understand. Um, I'm a stats nerd. I like numbers. I like analyzing things and deals and everything like that. So that's something that comes naturally to me. If you're more of a creative guy that has great ideas and that's just a, like a better salesman or anything like that, I mean, it might be a little tougher for you, but just understanding your numbers and everything like that will just, it's so, so beneficial. If you understand your stats, so let's say, for example, you find out that you're calling about 60 per people an hour and you understand that one appointment takes about 120 calls. If you understand that stat, you can tell yourself, hey, I just did 100 calls. I only need 20 more. Uh, statistically, if you do tens of thousands of cold calls, you'll actually understand that. Um, it's really important to understand and if you actually divide things, so if your average wholesale deal is 5,000, divide that by 100 calls, you say, hey, I get 50 bucks per call. That's, that's pretty good. And just say, hey, yeah, I got 20 more calls. Hey, that's, that's almost a grand. So just think about that. If you put that in perspective, you're getting paid like 20 to $50 per call, even though you're not technically, um, if, if you know it takes about 100 calls to get a deal, 200 calls, 1,000 calls, you'll actually know how much you're getting paid per call. And even if you're getting paid like five bucks a call, that's five times 60 and it's 300 bucks an hour still. And just think about things like that. It'll help you understand and get more confidence and keep you cold calling more. Uh, that's why like also looking at your stats too, if you, are figuring out that you can get to about 60 to 70 calls per hour and it's been 50 minutes and you've only had 40 calls uh, you know it's probably not a good time to be cold calling maybe you're cold calling at like 11 a.m. or uh, 10 a.m. or something like that and you're only getting like 30 to 40 and you're figuring out you can do 70 to 80 calls like you're getting more people are answering the phones uh, that could be another thing that affects your stats but you know you're actually getting to more people, more people are answering your calls, and you're actually getting to talking to people uh, at like five, six, seven o'clock, you know, after people are done with work, uh, that could be very beneficial. So our next tip is actually knowing that skip tracing is very important uh, to cold calling. It's almost as important having a good skip tracing service and getting really good leads from skip tracing as being a good salesman or having the right list or using like a triple dialing system. Uh, there's so many factors in cold calling that can make everything good. You know, you got people who are calling, people are having people in the Philippines calling you. It, it doesn't even matter. Uh, th these tips actually apply to everything really uh, when it comes to cold calling, even when you're hiring people. So understand that a good skip tracing is so important because if you can't get the motivated seller's phone number, how are you gonna get in touch with them over the phone? You can have the list. I mean, you can, you can give a person, like let's say, I don't wanna be weird, but like if I gave my sister, who uh, she's in the medical field right now, uh, studying things and she's gonna be a really good uh, medical, uh, she's gonna be a great nurse, great doctor, whatever she wants to be. If I gave her a list of literally 100 people that if you talk to them, you'll get a deal, like 100, guaranteed, $10,000 deals and give her a hundred. If I gave her that list, she wouldn't know what to do with it. Um, that's, that's what you gotta think about when you're not using good skip tracing. If you have an amazing list, you know there's a thousand lists in there and you know there's four deals in there. And you're skip tracing on really cheap leads 
and the skip tracing is not that good. It's just through, you're just through getting real the deals. That's what you gotta think about. Like paying a little more for skip tracing. I'm not saying paying 30, 40, 50 cents. I mean, if you can get it between that, I would say 10 to 20 cent range, you know, depending on how big a list you have, uh, you're doing you're doing pretty good with the skip tracing price wise, and it should be spitting out three phone numbers each lead you give it. So just think about that when you're skip tracing and uh, just just think, get, actually get in touch with it. And another tip, really, I would say, I mean, I'm getting bonus tips in here. It, it's not gonna be a solid 10. It might be 10, 11, 12. I, uh, I'm gonna give a little extra value to you guys actually just watching this whole video uh, throughout. <laughs> but actually talk to these people when you're cold calling and just ask them, hey, is this the owner of X, Y, and Z Street? And if they say yes, you know the skip tracing, you're actually getting in touch with these actually actual sellers, which is really important. Just ask them, hey, is this the owner of, or is this, is this Ann, the owner of 123 Main Street? And if they say yes, you know, skip tracing is working for this one, and you're gonna get the occasional person say, hey, this isn't the owner, no big deal. You get three phone numbers. One of, uh, two out of three ain't gonna work, but make sure the phone numbers are working well and you're actually talking to them. Uh, I know a lot of people, actually we got some students who are actually cold calling. These people are, it's so funny. These people actually, they're using a bad skip tracing service and these people aren't the owners. And it's, it's, it's terrible. Okay guys, next tip is actually create a cold calling schedule. Oh my goodness, this is so important. I mean, it's, it's creating a cold calling schedule is just one of the fundamental things you should do when you're cold calling. It's like creating a marketing schedule, uh, Rick's really into that, or a budget scheduling, or anything really like that. Just create a schedule and just tell yourself, hey, on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, from 2 p.m. this, I don't know, 7 p.m., I don't know how crazy I'm gonna be cold calling, from on those three days, I'm cold calling. I'm taking time out. I am cold calling. There's nothing. If my friends, hey, you want to go out, uh, go partying on Thursday at three o'clock, say, hey, no, I'm working two to seven. You just got to create that schedule in your mind that you're cold calling from two to seven. If you create that cold calling schedule, it will be so beneficial for you. It will just put in the mindset that you're doing this this time because a lot of people, when they're cold calling, they actually they they cold call for two days and say hey i didn't get any leads today this this week's bad i'm just not going to cold call this day and you're going to miss out uh some most of the deals that i've gotten from cold calling back in the day <laughs> sorry i was just talking like i'm older like i'm 70 80 back in the day but uh well when i was just like hey i'm stopping but i pushed myself an extra 30 minutes and i got the deal that almost happened with most of my deals cold calling uh, so just keep pushing yourself guys that's your next tip that i got in touch with you guys and i just wanted to really reveal is you guys really should be finding the best cold calling times I, I know we talked about before but make sure you calculate experiment hey i'm gonna cold call from 8 a.m to 10 a.m see my times then next week i'm gonna cold call from 10 a.m to 12 and then 12 to two next week sequentially and find in a 16 hour period uh, from, I don't know, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., 12 hours, I guess, and not 16. I just find out what's the best cold calling time. When do people actually answer their phones and when do you actually get in touch with people and just find in that 12 hour period where you're getting the best and find the best time. Uh, I like afternoons and early mornings. Uh, if you can find in your area something's different, hey, you work in, crazy uh crazy different town or a county than me then just try it uh but find your best cold calling times and our last tip for the day uh i don't even know how, what how many tips i got because i'm just just throwing out knowledge bombs to you guys but uh is to actually use great marketing lists and for your cold calling so cold calling is just it, it's like cooking i guess uh, is an analogy if you get the right ingredients onto everything, you'll create the perfect storm of getting deals. So it's like it's like baking, I guess. If you have too much egg, too much flour, too much sugar, too little sugar, uh, that you don't cook the right temperatures, it's just one little thing's off, the whole thing can be ruined. I'm not a baker, um, I actually don't like cooking too much, uh, but 
Uh, it's just it's just a funny analogy I think about cold calling, and a lot of people really like it. But uh, if you think about it like that, you got to think everything's got to be perfect in this cold calling, just like baking a pie or a cake. You have to have the right list. You have to have the right attitude. You have to have the right time. You have to have the right scripts and everything like that, and just keep keep pushing it. So getting a great list that can be cold calling, code violations, tax delinquency, just cold calling, just a list of people who own properties. Uh, anything you think of driving for dollars is a, probably one of the best cold calling ones to do. Uh, but hey, sky's the limit guys. Uh, one little tip too, you know, I'm just, just gonna throw another one out to you just cause I wanna be as beneficial as possible uh, with Flip with Rick uh, as you guys can is just develop your own script. Don't use like a weird, script that someone does or everyone else does because motivated sellers they get a lot of phone calls and if you use the same script it might get annoying after a while and they might not think of you as an actual uh investor you might see think it's the other guy if he's using the same script so use the right script so uh that's really it those are the 10 tips plus bonus i would say uh flip with rick if you really like this uh please like and subscribe to the channel um, it'll help us grow the flip with rick brand and it'll just help us in a whole create more videos and to do great and share more knowledge so this is zach signing out flip with rick uh get hammered the cold calling comment below uh your favorite cold calling tip or some stats from your cold calling if you'd like to share